Nangangatin na naman ang itlog ko Nangangatin na naman ang itlog ko Ka, ka, ka Nangangatin na naman ang itlog ko Nangangatin na naman ang itlog ko Ka, ka, ka Yow Yow What's up YouTube? It's your boy Dashing and we back for another Draft League content. This is week 1 of the UW Battle League. I am the coach of Team Kati Itlog and this week we take on John and the Wellington Weezings. So his team consists of Zeraora, Weavile, Meowskarada, Pinsir, that's like Mega Pinsir, Typhlosion H, Dunsparce, Golem, Likitang, Sandy Shocks and Darmanitan and he also opted for Terra so he could Terra any of the mons um, for this battle in particular he wanted to Terra Zera Aura if, if I remember correctly he wanted it to be Terra Electric probably just to get you know more damage on the Plasma Fist I don't really have the best checks for Plasma Fist aside from um, Tusk I guess Serp does a decent job uh, with that as well but it can definitely get uh, worn down by hazards and whatnot. I'm running offensive black glasses, dark ray, offensive boots, spin tusk, shuka, bulky offense scale, AV slow king, helmet seed serp, and the lead zong. So if anything, with his with the mons that he brought. I wasn't sure that he was going to bring Typhlosion. I was thinking maybe he'd run the Darm and have Darm be the... What do you call this? The Terra Mon. Maybe Terra Dark or Terra Ghost. Terra Ghost would probably be good. Because as you can see, we have like a few Mons weak to... Or vulnerable to Fire and Ghost here, right? And... That would have been pretty good, especially since he already has like breakers with Meowskarada and such. So without further ado, let's check out the game. So he leads Golem on the Bronzong. This is very predictable. I lose nothing by just going for like a Grass Knot here. It's gonna give, get him down to his 30 and if I set rocks here, he doesn't really have a way of removing rocks. So we're gonna get the kill unless this is some kind of like boots <laughs> boots golem right so we're free to set up rocks here he actually is revealed to be cast up on an uh, explosion which kind of does whatever right we're we're basically up a mon in turn two and we already have rock set as well meowska rather comes in this is definitely the threat um it actually does really good damage to a lot of things. I was thinking it was going to go for the knockoff. I thought maybe Great Tusk could come in. But then again, if he goes for the knockoff, he could just go for like a, a flower trick the next turn and take out Tusk or do significant damage to any of the mons. So I was just thinking my best play would be just to stay in with Zong and then go for the tech goes for the u-turn he's actually revealed to be life orb sandy shocks come in i go for the speed swap i'm faster than sandy now we go for the grass knot do good damage he sets up spikes uh he actually revealed to be i think specs spec shocks and he kind of forgot about that so he's kind of locked into spikes now uh he actually i guess predicted the the what do you call this? Maybe a switch, right? Into something like Serp. Uh, Tusk could be risky just because, you know, if you went for like the read for the earth power there, Tusk could have been worn down significantly. But yeah, we go for a second Grass Knot. He goes for the second Spike. So we do have a ton of hazards here. The good thing about this situation, however, is um, he doesn't have any... Well, I guess he has a ghost, uh, a spin immunity here with uh, Typhlosion. He goes out to Pinsir, forgetting that I had rocks. And we just go for a Psychic and it's definitely worn down now. And because of the speed swap earlier, we are going to be faster than the Pinsir. He goes for Mega, but we just go for the Psychic, take it out easy. So yeah, we're already up 
like three to four months or three to six four to six now three to six right Miascarada comes in he just goes for the knockoff wants to get at least one kill and the threat is in Tusk comes out he goes for the flower trick take some damage we get the spin off and now it's gonna be GG if he doesn't have any Scarfers, we just go for the EQ. Zero Aura comes out. Doesn't even bother with the Terra. It just gets swept. Same with Typhlosion. If he brought out uh, Typhlosion earlier, it doesn't really matter. We we would have gotten the KO anyway. And that's going to be GG. It's dashing. So this was a bit more dominant than I thought. Um, I had some mocks here and there. And it some of them were this dominant and the others were you know we, we lost another mon or two at the most but yeah this week was very straightforward um so yeah that's gonna be the video if you guys like the content like comment subscribe if you want to support your boy even more links to patreon down in the description i'll see you guys in the next one cheers